What happens during an asthma flare-up? Breathing might seem mysterious because you can't look inside your lungs to see how it works. Let's look inside the lungs to find out what's going on when someone has asthma. When we breathe, air goes in and out of the lungs. The air travels in and out through airways, also called bronchi and bronchioles. Let's take a closer look at the airways. Here is what healthy airways look like on the inside. Air flows in and out because these airways are wide open, leaving space for air to come and go. When airways look like this, they work well. Breathing is easy. People who have asthma have trouble with the airways in their lungs. Instead of being open and clear, the airways are often a little inflamed. This means that the walls of the airways are irritated, red, and a little swollen, even if the person isn't coughing, wheezing, or having trouble breathing. In a person with asthma, the airways are sensitive. This means that it often doesn't take much to cause an asthma flare-up or asthma attack. Triggers, such as tobacco smoke, allergies, or just catching a cold, can cause a flare-up. This further irritates the bronchi and bronchioles, causing them to get more inflamed. The airways become even more swollen. The airways produce a lot of sticky mucus, and the muscles around the airway squeeze from the outside. This is called bronchoconstriction. All three of these changes, inflammation, more mucus, and bronchoconstriction, make it difficult to breathe. There's less space in the airway for air to flow in and out. The person may cough, <coughs> wheeze, and feel out of breath. If it's not treated with medicine, an asthma flare-up can last several hours or even days. But for most people, using rescue medicine, usually through an inhaler, provides quick relief. That makes breathing easier.